So, uh, you know, barbecue season is here, man. I mean, we've gotten some really good weather. I know you if you haven't had a chance to cook out yet, I'm sure you're going to soon. So have you ever run into this situation? You've run out of propane while you were grilling, so you had to stop halfway through and go buy a fresh tank. Well, some grills have gauges on them that tell how much is left, but I don't have one of those. I don't know if you do. If yours doesn't, there's still an easy way to figure out if you have enough propane in your tank before you start cooking. This is what they say to do. Just take a glass of hot water and pour it down one side of the tank and feel it with your hand. The top of the tank should feel warm from the water, but unless it's completely empty, it should feel a lot colder as you move your hand down. They say the reason is propane absorbs heat faster than air does, so when your tank is half full, the top half just has air in it, so that part will feel warm when you touch it. But the lower half that still has the propane should feel colder. So it starts feeling cold about one-third of the way down. That means you still have about two-thirds of a tank left, and you're probably fine. But if it only feels cold near the very bottom, it's almost empty, and you should go get a new tank before you start cooking. I've never tried that. And I can't do it. Maybe my wife's listening. Rainy, get a glass of hot water and go out on the patio. Yeah, or you could just use charcoal, right, Hank? I live in the real world where men sell propane and propane accessories.